What's going on, amazing Curse of Arrows fans? I'm kicking off a new Iron Man mode series. I'm starting fresh on a new account. And I won't be trading with other players at all. I have to earn everything myself. I'll be using the standard accuracy equals strength plus 20 build as always. And it's easy going up until level 50 because of the gift boxes. After that, you need to start fending for yourself. I started off by doing all tasks without any skips. Although I've learned along the way that just grinding bats is the best way to level. Bats are always in large groups, die fast, do low damage, and give a good amount of potions and money. By just grinding bats, you eliminate the travel time between new mob types and the task board. As an Iron Man account, it's extremely important to build up that potion count as you go, so I would recommend grinding normal bats until level 15, forest bats or snow bats from 15 to 40, then cave bats from 40 to 70 or 75, and at that point you can move on to ancient bats, then eventually golemite bats when you feel you're ready. Always check the task board to see if you have the relevant bat tasks and you can skip some tasks if they're cheap to skip, but be careful. I skipped a lot of tasks, and I ended up regretting it when I completely ran out of money and potions. Although if that happens to you, you can easily recover your money and potions by grinding more bats. Just make sure to use the smallest potions while grinding bats, so your medium potion count can steadily rise. In just 10 minutes of hunting cave bats, even when I was level 68, I got 30% experience, 40k gold, not counting the chaotic mythin sword I found, which sells for 150k, and over 100 medium potions. You can pull tons of bats at once with very little danger. I spend all of my gold on potions of course because there's nothing else to buy as an Iron Man account. At level 50, you can check the task board for Ice Fiends. If you don't have them, you can skip some tasks if you have a good amount of gold. You'll want to fight them since they drop Mythin, and you'll even have a chance at getting a Glacial Blade. I always fight Fiends once I've grinded enough potions and money from bats. Forest Fiends and Rock Fiends also drop Mythin, while Forest Fiends can drop the Nature Sword, and Rock Fiends can drop Dead Rock Equipment. But, since the Ice Fiends are by far the easiest, you'll want to spend time there, especially as an Iron Man account, until you get a higher level and better gear. Rock Fiends destroy my potions, so I don't like to spend time there. At least not yet. I recommend avoiding all other mob types, as they are spread out too far, or do too much damage, or don't have good drops. Once I get farther, I will discuss the higher level mobs. I got a full Mythin set minus the boots just from grinding Ice Fiends, then I ended up buying the boots from the merchant. Now that I have a full Mythin set, I'll stay at Cave Bats until level 70, then I'll try Ancient Bats, and if I don't gain potions while I'm there, I'll go back to Cave Bats until I'm a higher level or have better gear. At level 75, you can enter Umbra's Lair, so I'm going to attempt to kill Umbra for fun, and if I can kill him, then I will see if I can get a flawless run again, except this time with no armor just for fun. And I may even use a weak wooden sword, but we will see if that's possible. If it doesn't take too long to kill Umbra, then I may just start grinding him from that point on, but I imagine my damage will be too low, and I will want to get a better weapon first. If that's the case, I'll grind Ice Fiends for a Glacial Blade. The plan is to just get to the point where I can grind Umbra endlessly, until I'm the first ever Iron Man account with full Umbral gear. So hopefully, we don't need to spend an extended period of time grinding mobs other than Umbra. So, what do you think about the new Iron Man series? This one was mostly an intro to Iron Man and my strategy, but the future ones will be about my progress and higher level Iron Man mode strategy. Be sure to check out my channel for more awesome, Curse of Eros content. If you enjoy it, consider supporting me on PayPal. Link in the description. I love you all. Be kind to your brothers and sisters of Planet Earth. 
be good. And I'll see you again real soon.